my name is Apostle Bismarck Osei Akomia. I'm the least servant of Jesus Power Assemblies of God Church in Colombia, Ohio. 2001, um, I went to Ghana for holidays. And when I was coming back from Ghana, I bought a plane from Amsterdam to Houston, Texas. On my way coming, I hear the voice of God said, go and move to Columbus, Ohio, and start this church, Jesus Power Assemblies of God Church. Though since 86, where I give my life to Jesus, I know God have called me. I want to, to go to Bible school in Ghana, but based on my educational background, I could not enroll in Bible school because I failed in the entrance examination. And when the Lord called, uh, told me to come to Columbus to start a church, I told my wife, Mama Linda, we pray about it, and we know that God has spoken. My name is Pastor Fosuata, the Associate Pastor of Jesus Power Assemblies of God Church. I've been with this ministry for the past 20 years, and the Lord has been good to us. We thank God so very much for how far He has brought this church. It's amazing. It's a miracle. We have a testimony. When we came in and we started church in our basement, in that June 2001, we were expecting at least to a few people to come in. But for three months in our basement, nobody showed up. But one day I was driving around here and I found a place. And when I went there, it was a church building. And I asked the pastor if they can rent us some place to start a church. And he asked me how many members you have. And I told him I have 25 people. But honestly, me and my wife and, and at that time, and Anita with us, my daughter Anita. So it wasn't that we have so many people. But that day, when I said that to the pastor, I came home and I told my wife, we pray about it. And Mama, Mama Linda asked me this question, how are we going to get the 27, 25 people? And I said, the Lord will provide. So we started going around the African shops, giving prayers, telling people about Jesus' power. So on our first Sunday in September 2001, God blessed us with 27 people. It was a challenge, but God did well. together as a church God gave us this property we bought it for 600,000 and the time the day the church is two years old we dedicate our first sanctuary which the land and the building costs one million dollars it was excitement moment our membership grew for the day we enter into that building to about 400 and it's one of the joyful moment that I have experienced in my life because I never dreamed that God would do this. That's why this year our team is God can do more than you can think or imagine or you can pray. But this God is a great God. Ten years ago, when we dedicated the Glory Temple, it was a huge challenge. 
Because we took a loan about 3.5 million dollars to build this sanctuary. Some people were telling me that, Pastor, it is a time of recession. America is in recession. Banks are closing. People are losing their job. What kind of a man like you to go and get a loan of 3.5 million? But I know the one who has spoken to us. I know this God who can do a city above all we can take and imagine. I have faith. So the day that we dedicate the building, there was a vision called Vision 2020. That the year 2020, this sanctuary that seated 1,500 is going to pack with people. And we are going to pay, pay off to become debt free. And to the glory of God, today, Glory Temple mortgage have been paid off and we are debt free to the glory of God. What God can do is exceedingly above how you can imagine or think about. Praise God for his blessings. God have done incredible in my life. So if Jesus was standing here, I would kneel down before Jesus with tears in my eyes and I said, Jesus, thank you. Thank you for your love. What did I do that deserved this recognition? What did I do that I deserved this honor? Jesus, I thank you. God, I thank you. Holy Spirit, I thank you. God, you have shown goodness to me. Because you are so faithful, Lord, you are covenant-keeping God. Whatever you told me all my life since I give my life to you have come to pass. Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. No my life you have been so so good. Ebenezer, how far you have brought us. God has done so well and so much. But Philippians chapter 3, Paul said, the apostle said, I forget the past. I forget what I've achieved. I forget what I've accomplished. But one thing that I know, I am pressing on. Because there's more territory to win. There's more goals to achieve. There's so many things for Jesus' power to accomplish. Now, if we look at our children's facilities, it's not big enough. We have over 200 children. We need a big space for them. I assure you all that God of Israel, who took us 20 years ago, the next year, that will be the vision 2030. That will be the vision 2030. We want to dream big. I want you all to hold my hands as Moses to carry this vision forward. The Lord has been gracious to us. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the set man, Apostle Bismarck, and then the First Lady, Mama Linda, their love, their concern, their honor, and their respect to accepting me into their ministry. I am who I am now because of God and through their ministry. Thank you all so very much. Congratulations to Apostle. Congratulations to the woman of God, Mama Linda. Congratulations to all the pastors. Congratulations to the presiding deacon and the deacon board. Congratulations to the entire congregation. We love you all. God rich you bless you all. Yeah, the radiance, the 20 years anniversary. Yes, I am here. We are bread. We are the doors. Yes, I am here. The energy, the ecstasy, the soul, the dawas. Yes, I am here. We are the doors. 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 Oma omo tutu kwai impo omo omo kan ye ho sa bere no mo different state ye da omo nyina se o do sonko a ye nyina di bo mo estate asafo no a ene ewrade di abedru 20 years na ye da ewrade ase de ma omo nyina abra bo cuz all my life you have been 
Of the goodness of God. 